Hi there, my name is Hazel Hutchins and I'm co-author along with my good friend Gail Herbert of this recent release, The Truth About Wind from Anik Press. Usually when I introduce a new story, I enjoy talking about where I got the idea from, but in this case it almost makes me feel uncomfortable because Gail and I had to talk about the times in the past when maybe we had not quite told the truth in the manner that we probably should have. And we talked about how sometimes when you tell a lie, it's not just to mislead someone else. It's almost as if you're trying to convince yourself of something that you know is not true, but you wish so badly it were true. Illustrations are by Dushan Petrasik, who does a truly interesting job of showing both the young boy's imagination and the tangle of emotions and lies. I'm going to read a few pages from the front of the book. Jesse heard the creaking sound first. A wagon was moving along the path behind his backyard. Shapes flickered beyond the boards. A man, a little girl, someone even smaller in a wagon, and then way down at the bottom, one small dark shape that stayed behind on the grass long after the wagon had gone. Jesse peered between the boards. I love this picture. Looking brightly back at him was a horse. A horse, the color of a crow's wing, so shiny and black, and no one was in sight. Jesse coats the horse with bits of clover and dandelion to the safety of his own backyard. He built it a special stable beside the shed. When Mother came, she said, My, what a fine fellow that horse is, Jesse. Where did he come from? From Grandmama, said Jesse, and he is the fastest horse in the world, so I have named him Wind. Jesse and Wind have ever so much fun together. Jesse goes to like and then love the toy horse. But he also has to tell one or two more lies. Here he is calling, Mother Grandma, with her playing in the bathtub. And that sort of thing begins to bother Jesse, especially at night, as things often bother us at night. So Jesse invents an entire kingdom of magical wild horses, and he tells himself that's where Wind really came from. And that way he can continue to have more fun with him at the park and all sorts of places. But all the time, Jesse is beginning to think more and more that maybe, just maybe, someone else is missing a lost horse. Will Jesse keep the horse he's just learned to love? Or will he find some way to return it? It's not an easy decision. The book is called The Truth About Win from Anik Press. Thank you for listening.